Do you find yourself duplicating preconditions or guard clauses across multiple functions? Well, the other day I was faced with this situation when I was attempting to fix a bug that required me to add a precondition or a guard clause, whatever you want to call it, to the beginning of every single function in a class that I was working with. Now, in most cases, if I wanted to do some kind of precondition in multiple functions, I would extract that logic to a function and then throw an exception in that function and that would be my guard clause. But in this case, I didn't want to throw an exception because I was working with a cache that we were just using for optimization purposes. So if it failed, it wasn't really an exceptional use case. And alternatively, I just wanted to either return null for queries or do nothing for what were meant to be mutations. So I had some precondition logic written up and it was, I guess, somewhat complex. There was a few things I was doing here. So I was doing the precondition check, and then if that check failed, the validation failed, then I wanted to do some logging, and then either return a null value or do nothing in the function and exit early. So I had my precondition check, and I was just dreading copying and pasting the same exact precondition, the same exact block of code in the beginning of every single function in this class. I knew it just wasn't gonna be pretty. It was repetitive, I needed a different way. So that's when I decided to turn the tables a little bit do some experimentation. So what I did was I extracted this guard clause block of code to a function, the typical approach for trying to reduce duplication. And then I would pass a callback to this guard clause function. And if the precondition passed in the guard clause, then we would execute the callback. Not really revolutionary stuff, but for this use case, I was pretty satisfied with the result. Not only did we reduce duplication, but we ended up with a very readable solution. So as we can see with this code, we can read this like a book. When the file cache is allowed, we write the text to the file. So reduced duplication, made a readable solution. I was pretty satisfied and I committed. At the time, I was super excited about this solution. And while I do think there are places where something like this could be beneficial, as I thought about it more and as I planned out this video, I did think of quite a few drawbacks. So for one, code like this does create a bit more nesting, or at least it feels like there's more nesting, which is really something that guard clauses are trying to prevent, in my opinion. Another drawback, we're working with callbacks, which aren't always quite fun to work with. So with those two drawbacks in mind, that brings another drawback. This is not gonna be great for multiple preconditions because you're gonna have a lot of nesting and a lot of callbacks, which brings another drawback. Future people who work with this code might get mad if they have to add another precondition, and they have to introduce more nesting or understand the nesting and callbacks that are already there. And to an extent, you could argue that this code is too dry because that is a thing. You can go too far in trying to reduce duplication. So we've added an additional function to our class that creates a bit of indirection in trying to call when in reality, we could have just taken the approach of duplicating the precondition which arguably might be easier to maintain down the road. Or maybe we could leverage a design pattern to perfectly solve this problem. We could have a strategy that we get from a fact. Okay, we need to calm down. We're getting way too far. We're kind of starting to get into overcomplicating this, which some people might think that this is already overcomplicating. But despite the drawbacks, I still feel like this approach could be beneficial in some places. It's just another concept that we could add to the toolbox. Let me know if you love it or you hate it.